For this video, I'm going to describe how we can use measure and record function to measure in new control points for your job site. Uh, this is pretty vital because it really helps you, really sets you up for success because a lot of times you get to a job site, all your control points are there initially, you set up on them, you start to do some work, you come back the next day, some of those points are hidden. So it doesn't hurt to, when you set up that first day, as long as you set up accurately, go ahead and measure and record some new control points. Now I'm going to show you how to do that real quick. I'm going to go into my, uh, I'll just go to draw to, sh to show you how to get there. So I'm already stationed. I stationed my tool off my control points. I'm just using a very basic file here. But let's say that I'm stationed and I want to set some new control points around the job. Okay, so I'm going to go into my measure and record function. And it's going to pull up this uh, menu on the right where I can name whatever points I'm going to say. So I'll call these uh, wall prism uh, wall points because I'm going to make some wall points that, that are where I'm going to have my controls. And I'm going to de define that these points I'm making are not only measured points because obviously I'm measuring them, but they're actually measured control points. I want these to be saved as control points. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go in here and I know that my wall prisms I'm using that are stationary is this prism right here, the POA 23. When I'm when I'm working, I usually use like this L bracket prism or some sort of stationary prism. If I ever have a prism that someone brings me that uh, they they prefer to use, I can actually use a user prism. As long as it's stationary and, and I know the constant, I can type it in there. The constants on the like somewhere on the prism will tell you like a two millimeter offset, etc. You can use any prism you want, but most of the time I'm out there using the POA 23. Uh, because I can screw it onto a wall and it stays there for the entire time I'm working. So, I, or I've also seen um, I don't do this, but I've seen others. They take like a POA 21 here, this this larger prism, and they embed uh, like an anchor into concrete, and they just screw this onto the top of that anchor, and that's their new control point. It just and so they keep this out there as a saved um, saved prism that doesn't move either. So there's a lot of things you can do. Another prism I forgot to mention that I use when I'm using the PLT is the POA26. It's a square prism. It looks like, uh, yeah, it's just a square prism that you can paste or screw to the side of a wall and connect to as well. It's basically the replacement of the POA23 for the PLT300. So, but I have this prism set up here and I'm going to use it. So now I'm going to use this. Now I, got, now I need to turn my tool over to where it is and make a measurement so it saves. So as you can see, my X is no longer covering my my arrow, and I'm connected. I know I'm looking at it, and I know that I've made my point of what I want to call it. And I'm going to measure it. And I know if I zoom in, you can see, let me, if I hold my fingers like this, you see how it's a square and a triangle? That's because the point list will save it as a measured point and as a control point. Let me zoom down here to the bottom and at the very bottom where the wall points are, that's where you'll see it. So if I don't want to keep that measured point in there because it's taking too much space, I can just scroll down and tap that measure point and just delete it. And I press this to delete it. So now I only have that remaining. But now let's say that I have another point out there uh, for instance, let's see here. Let's say I have another point out there, but uh, it's like on a side of a building, but it's a stationary thing that I need to, uh, for instance, uh, use my laser with. I can still do that. So I can go in here, change my prism to a laser, and now it's in laser mode. And now I can literally move my tool anywhere, uh, anywhere that I can see a set control point, and I can use it. I'm not going to... I'll tell you some things I've seen done. Um, I've used screw heads on sides of walls that are like holding up a, a light as a control point before. Those are stationary. I've used other markings that are completely random as control points that I've measured on walls. As long as I know they're stationary, I'm okay using them. But if I think, if I think they're going to move or get moved, I try not to use them. Prisms are a good bet because you can screw them onto the side and you can automatically lock onto them. If I'm using a laser though, I actually have to use the crosshairs of my POS 180 or I have to use the camera of my PLT, which isn't always as easy to keep accurate. So what do I recommend? Uh, using prisms, obviously, but you can still, I'm just showing you, I can still, I'll move my tool and I'll make a measurement. 
So I just moved it to a location on a wall that's looking at a, a mark I made on the wall. I'll just say check and I'll make a measurement on the uh, wall using my measurement record. And it's going to call it wall points still, but I think it's going to call it wall points 2 or wall points 1. It's going to start increasing in number. I forgot to click control point. Wall points 1. There it is, wall points 1. There we go. And now I can scroll down. You'll see I have wall points 1 there now as well. So there's just some options for you. So now I can use those two control points to station. So to give you an example, I'm going to go here. I'll go to my stationing. I will go to manual stationing. And I'll scroll on down to my wall points. Wall points 1. Using my laser because that's what I used when I measured it. I'll say measure. And now I'll go to my original wall points with that I had my prism width. Okay. And I'll measure that. I just moved it over there. I'm going to call it wall points one. Yep. Measure it. I know you can't see it, but that was highlighted gray. The screen makes it look weird. Two control points, standard deviation such as this, zero, 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 makes me happy. And uh, even my height, it saves because I measured it in with a, with a height. So I'll say save, and now I'm able to go in and lay out. I hope that helps.